Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are here in the platform bedroom renovation, just about finishing up, and we are gonna build our trap door. So I'm sitting in the, the secret compartment, or what will be the secret compartment, uh, once we, we put this, uh, this trap door in. So I have a piece of wood that is cut already to this, uh, this exact place. Uh, we've got a lip around here that the trap door can rest on and uh, we've got some special hinges that will uh, allow this thing to sit right in here flush so some flush mount hinges we'll add our our uh, trap door handle and we're also going to play around with something that will be able to make this uh, open and close by remote control so uh, stick around and let's get uh, get to work so this is where trap door is going to go and this is where it's going to hinge and whenever you're dealing with a, a flush mount like this, it's going to fit right in here. And so uh, you can't just put a regular hinge here. Uh, you could, but it, you know the hinge uh, uh, would be sticking out on the top of this. And you could definitely do that. But if you want this to be hidden, we have to use some special hinges. If it's closed like this and you put the hinge on the back side, it doesn't have any room to pivot. This edge would, uh, would bind up. So what I have here is some, some flush mount kind of trap door hinges. And basically what these do is uh, they're gonna mount in here like that. And as these open up, they're kind of tight, they, they lift the door away from that hinge joint and then up. And so that allows it to open just like that. And you can adjust the, how far it opens so it doesn't fall all the way back. I bought just about all this stuff on Amazon. In fact, I bought all of it on Amazon, so I'll link to everything in the description that if you want to make your own secret trap door, you'll have all the parts to do it. So let's get these hinges mounted first. I'm not sure how, I've never put these in before, so we'll see how these go. I'm gonna to try to get these mounted in here uh, on the uh, framing, and then we'll put our trap door in after. Need some help. I'm gonna get in here and then put the trap door down. And then you need to sit on it or stand on it. Because I just need, I'm gonna put these screws in to, to it and I need to push on it. Okay. So good. Want me to stand on it? Yep, stand on it. Those hinges work pretty good, but I'm not real happy with this. Uh, it's pretty tight here. I need a little bit more play, I think, uh, especially if there's any expansion and contraction. So also this gap here isn't quite even. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll probably uh, make a line on this so we can get this nice and straight. Uh, we'll just widen this gap up a little bit. I'll sand this back on this edge. Then I'll also sand the edges of the uh, plywood here. Uh, so we'll sand down these edges all the way down and just give us a little bit more more space there just so it's not so so tight
Okay, so, so far everything is uh, coming together pretty good. So in order to make this automatic or remote controlled, I have this, uh, this piston. Uh, I found this on Amazon. It's just an actuated piston. It's a 12 volt, uh, basically, you know, voltage goes in one way and it pushes out and voltage turns around and goes the other way, it pushes back in. So this will be perfect for the trap door. Um, it, it can lift a lot more weight than I need it to, uh, but uh, we'll see how it works. And then I also bought this kit. Uh, this is made for this, this uh, cylinder. Uh, and this is a remote control unit. So it just has a little, a little remote up and down. And uh, this is all the brackets and stuff for the uh, actual piston. And so this is uh, pretty simple. You just put 12 volts in and then the other side goes out to the motor and your remote control uh, makes it go up and down. So really all I need to do is mount these brackets and uh, hook up a power supply. Now I have an old computer 12 volt power supply here. This is a 1.5 amp. I tested this and it seems to work okay. Uh, a, a laptop adapter would probably work fine or extra, any, any kind of 12 volt. It takes, I think it's between six and 20 volts it'll take anywhere in there. So yeah, input voltage on this is actually supposed to be 12 volts. The, the little uh, remote box here, I think will take a lower voltage than that, but uh, yeah, it says eight to 30 volts. So anyway, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll hack the wires off of this. We'll, we'll take off our, our power clip here and we'll, we'll get this all hooked up and test it out. And if it works good, we'll kind of make it more permanent. We'll see. Well, it is working pretty good so far, but we need to make some adjustments. So the piston has been working, but it was super slow. So I had uh, hacked a power supply off of uh, something, old piece of laptop or something else, uh, and it just wasn't quite powerful enough. So I actually ordered an Amazon Basics power supply that matches the uh, amperage and voltage specifically that, that piston calls for. So we're gonna give this a try. I think it, uh, uh, it, it's probably gonna go about twice as fast. So I think that'll be sufficient. So we'll get this wired up. We'll cut the brand new tip off of this power supply and, and wire it into our uh, little remote control unit there and then into the piston. I also found that mounting the piston this way instead of this way seems to work a little bit better. The way that I had it before, it was actually pushing too much this way. And so I need to get a little bit more of a ang angular uh, leverage on this. It was pushing the, the trap door when it tried to open, it was pushing it into the, the jam or the frame of this instead of lifting it up. And so uh, flipping it around seems to have given it that little extra angle that we need. So uh, we'll have to run it upside down, which should work just fine.
So it looks like we just need to shave this back a little bit. It's just getting stuck right here. Um, there's a little, this gap here just needs to be a little bit bigger. So, so I'm going to try to make this straight by using my router and the flush trim bit to uh, shave this off. It works. Press the button on the remote. Oh. Don't forget to shut out the light. Well, this was the, the final piece to the uh, platform bedroom project. So uh, the trap door is functioning. And uh, I think she'll have a lot of fun with this. So she can kind of put bins in here. She can put kind of uh, items that she doesn't want. Maybe her little sister to touch, things like that. And then she can keep the remote secret. You really can't open this without the remote. The, the piston won't really move. Uh, without it almost locks it uh, without the remote so uh, the piston does come out pretty easily though and I do have a regular handle on there so if we ever have trouble with the piston I can always uh, I can get in here and get this uh, pull the pins out piston comes out and then it can be used as just a regular manual trap door I will throw some uh, command strips on that carpet to kind of glue it or secure it right down to the, uh, the the top of the trap door and then it'll always remain hidden it'll kind of be part of the uh, the whole effect so uh, I think it turned out pretty good though. It's still not quite as fast as I would like it. I would like it to kind of open quicker, but it takes about, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, 15 seconds uh, for it to completely open and close. So it's not too bad. Uh, she's not going to be getting in and out of here every day. This is more of a long-term storage type thing. So uh, I think it'll work out pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of the hidden secret storage trapdoor compartment thing <laughs> here in the platform bedroom uh, renovation. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. Uh, there will be one final reveal on this room when we get all the finishing touches done. We still got some trim work to, to fix up here and some uh, different things to do in here, some uh, decorating and, and some other things. And then we'll do a final reveal on this bedroom. I also have some work to do to the desk that'll probably take you guys along on as well. And if you haven't seen the previous builds on all this, the platform bedroom and all these things, I've got a whole series. I'll link up in the, uh, the little eye there in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And you can uh, check that out and uh, see the, the whole build from from uh, day one to today, uh, every bit of this builds. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.